question from Stephen McRae. I think it's McRae. I like instrumental music so much more than music with vocals. I like to read or work with music playing and it's too much to try and process lyrics. I, yep, I understand that. Will Octave put out any more instrumental music? Um, yes, the quick answer is yes, we will. Um, I, I do want to just empathize with you for a moment. When I am listening to music and working, I also listen to in instrumental music because you know, maybe, maybe it's everybody, but I think especially as a person that um, I'm, I'm also a vocalist and a musician, so when there are lyrics being sung, I can't help but listen to them. And it, it's, you're right, way too much to process. Um, I don't know how much I want to tell you <laughs> because spoilers, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. I'll go ahead and tell you some of them. So we've had, a, we've, we've had quite a few projects finishing up in the last few weeks, last month, um, that have been in process and they finally finished recording and got to the mixing process. Two that I'm really excited about, one, because they, both of these projects were totally done in our new studio, which is exciting because we have been finishing up projects that we did at the old studio and recorded on the Sonoma. And now we're starting to finish projects that were recorded in our facility on the Pyramid. So I'll tell you about both of them. Tom Amend, Jazz Octet. Um, he has some other albums out that you might want to just preemptively check out on streaming sites. Um, that's where I went and listened before we had him come in and make an album with us. Tom is uh, a multi-instrumentalist, really. He's kind of a genius. Um, I've seen him play drums. Um, any, anything that has a keyboard, he, he, will just, he will just rock that thing. <laughs> um, I've seen him play the flute. I've seen him play, um, geez, what was it? Maybe he's a clarinet? Don't quote me on that. He, he did a song on the bass album that we recently put out that he played every single instrument on there. Um, but he wrote, he wrote a, a jazz album that will be coming out probably in the next few months because it's totally done. We're just working on the art at this point. It's, it's amazing. Um, we, Jay Elliott recorded it. He's, he's done quite a bit of work for us at this point. Um, he recorded all eight musicians in the main tracking room. They didn't use ISO booths. I take it back. They used an ISO booth for the singer who I think did two or three tracks. Um, but the core eight musicians played in the same room and he just kind of put up baffling and um, mic'd it in a very thoughtful way. It sounds incredible. <laughs> it was just like when... When Paul and I sat down to, with Jay to listen to the final mixes, we were totally blown away. Just like, this is the best thing that, has, that we've heard Octave do ever. Um, so that's an instrumental project to look forward to. I think only one of those songs has lyrics, where the vocalist actually sings lyrics. I think it's one, maybe it's two, but she does some cool... Um, vocal it, it's almost like she uses her voice as one of the horns because he has some um, four four or five horn players on there at any given time um that they all they all have like two or three <laughs> different horns that they're playing on different songs um but that is one to look forward to tom amend octet the other one that I'm super excited about that also just got finished um, that was recorded in our studio on the Pyramix by Jay as well is Miguel Espinoza. He does flamenco fusion. You'll, you can look back and um, he, I think he was maybe on compilation audio file master series, maybe five or six. He writes some really interesting music. Um, they, you know, he, he's, a, he's the flamenco guitarist. Uh, one of the other core members plays the cello. And then they have t 
tablas and different percussive elements throughout. I, I know that they have at least one guest drummer. Um, they have some piano. They had Howard Levy from Bella Fleck come in and do two songs with them, I think two songs on his harmonica, which really, the, it, that kind of accentuates the fusion part of the flamenco fusion, um, where it almost feels a little bit like flamenco blues, if that can be a thing, <laughs> mashup of genres. Um, they had uh, a guest violinist slash singer come in that um, it, there, are, there are no lyrics, but it's like an Indian, um, Indian kind of singing. And her violin playing, she didn't hold it up here. She's like sitting on the ground doing stuff down here. <laughs> it's like a totally different thing. I can't remember what it was called. I know that has a specific name, but those two albums are coming out in the next couple months. Miguel Espinoza, Tom Amend Octet, both instrumental. And I've been kind of alternating those albums. I, I got to take home the final mixes and put them in my SACD player. And I've, I've mostly been alternating those two albums when I work. Um, ooh, there's another one that will probably come out before that. It's, it's not 100% instrumental. I think there's one or two where there's some singing, but, but if you're not uh, bilingual and you just speak English, I think she sings in French, so you should be fine. <laughs> uh, we, Paul and I, and, and Terry, Paul's wife, we went to Denver and recorded Gabriel Mervine Quartet uh, at, at a nightclub in Denver called Nocturne. Back in the fall, maybe September, October. We, we were just kind of going to get the experience. We thought we might use one or two tracks on some of the Art of Hi-Fi stuff that's coming up. But the entire show turned out so good that we couldn't not put an album out of it. Like we had to put the album out. Um, the quartet is Gabriel Mervine, who's a, a trumpet player um, who has released uh, an album on Octave before called Say Something. Um, and Alicia Straka, who plays accordion like a mad woman, um, and then bass and drums. I think it was Patrick McDevitt and Braxton Kahn on the drums, bass drums. It's like a Parisian jazz sort of vibe. Um, not your typical like American jazz standards. I think one of the songs is an original composition by Alicia, but it's very unexpectedly good. You know, when I told Paul I wanted us to go record accordion, trumpet, bass, and drums, he was like, oh, okay, I guess, I guess we'll try that. Um, but after the show, especially after we started listening to how good it sounded, he was just like, this is the best show ever. <laughs> we have to put this album out. Um, so that look for that one as well. Um, those are a few coming up that are instrumental, at least for the most part. I could, I could name a few of the back catalog. I don't know how much octave you have in your life, but in the back catalog, Don Grusin, who is our very first release, we're sold out of his SACDs, but if you do downloads at all, download that one. I listen to that a lot and it's, it's so easy. It's beautiful and it's just something nice to have on. It, you know, if you have something cognitive that you're doing, that will not disrupt. Um, the Gabriel Mervine Say Something, I think that was our fifth release. Carmen Sandim, Brazilian Beasts. That's a, that's a very nice album to just have on if you don't want lyrics. That one's 100% instrumental. Um, let's see, Jeremy Money. he sings on two or three of them, but it's like a modern swing kind of a vibe. I really like that music. I play that one a lot. Um, Tierro Band with Bridget Law. I think they're singing on maybe two of them. Um, but that one is very eclectic feeling and, and upbeat. Yeah, those are the ones that come to mind. If you want to check out some of the back catalog for your instrumental working time. So keep an eye out. Tom Amend, Jazz Octet, 
Miguel Espinoza, Gabriel Mervine, live at Nocturne. Those are your ticket to uh, a good a good work day. Thank you.